hello and welcome to the experiment number four uh, that is the quality factor q and bandwidth of a resonance cavity we have to find out it so what is the objective of this experiment the objective of the experiment to learn the theory of a resonance cavity and experiment the relationship between q and bandwidth learn how to measure the q of a resonance, cav resonance cavity so go through to the theory as you can see that is the resonance circuit are of great importance for microwave oscillators, tuned amplifiers and frequency measurements. Just look upon the resonance circuit. That is a uh, simple RLC circuit as you can see that in the resonance circuit. So uh, the resonance circuit uh, you have to just uh, make it XL equal to XC. That means the impedance of inductance and the impedance of uh, sorry impedance of inductance and impedance of uh, the capacitance should have to be equal at uh, the frequency part at, at, at the resonance uh, part when it is at, at resonance so the circuit parameters are very depending upon the propagation modes unlike the low frequency case the meaning of the voltage and the current in the tank becomes ambiguous meaning the difference definition in the r not difficult okay so this circuit or resonance circuit also known as tank circuit and it is uh, particularly found in radio engineering course when we go through to some uh, filters and also some detectors whatever else their transmitter or uh, uh, receiver uh, the thing the tank circuit remains there okay so that is the transmission cavity that's the transmission cavity uh, this basic circuit very basic circuit of the cavity system and uh, z01 is the uh, characteristic impedance of the input waveguide z02 is the characteristic impedance of the output waveguide rr sorry rg is the internal resistance of the generator rl is the load register so it can be developed by letting z01 is rg z02 is rl so that is the equivalent circuit of the cavity as you can see in the input section there is a 1 is to n1 uh, that is the 1 is to n1 type of transformer okay uh, throughout the ac signal part uh, with the generating uh, gen uh, resistance through generator and there is a rlc part that you can see in the cavity region that is the uh, that the that, that is the section of uh, the resonance section and uh, that is gonna we will find out the quality factor okay in a cavity section and there is n2 is to one uh, step down transformer is in the load condition that is the step up transformer that is the step down uh, not that is the step down or step up n1 that means uh, after going to the coil in the turns okay that's a step up and the step down okay so uh, there are two ideal transformers have been given here okay uh, and uh, effective series resonance circuit was also uh, been counted so the output power in this case that is the equation that we have to follow out that is eg square divided by 4 uh, z naught okay so the resonant curve is a relationship between the frequency and the output power of a resonance uh, cavity. So just not on to follow up anything, just go to the figure of merit, and uh, that is uh, the that is the QL. That means the quality factor of a load. F is the ratio between the maximum power and the power of two points of the curve. Now uh, alpha is the bandwidth of the coefficient, del f is the bandwidth of the cavity. So uh, that is uh, the quality factor of the cavity, the equation of the quality factor. Now there is the equivalent circuit of the cavity por portion. So uh, just uh, denouncing the transformers and make it to the uh, corresponding resistances, we can get a simple equivalent circuit like that. Now in that particular equivalent circuit we can usually we can usually make the quality uh, factor with omega l divided by r and omega not equal to root over 1 by root over lc so then we will get uh, the value of ql out of that and that is the last value 
that q naught divided by 1 plus beta 1 plus beta 2 and all the above the equations are going to be at the pl uh, the power developed and the power to the load at resonance the imaginary portion becomes zero so we will get the power to the load pl like that and just the derivations that going through to it from the previous section to that section okay in the previous section there was an alpha but there is if we know the half power bandwidth and the operating frequency you can definitely uh, find out this after calculating that so that is the experimental procedure of q using uh, power quality factor using power measurement techniques so just we have to know the frequency and get the value of the q okay uh, the power supply ground oscillator is the uh, simple one because that is the input section of the microwave uh, what can i say input section of the microwave measurement blocks or microwave uh, setups okay so that is the power supply and ground oscillator variable attenuator frequency meter these are the most common most common in the uh, input section so now just uh, check the waveguide to coaxial adapter here and then a thermocouple mount to calculate the power through that and then the thermocouple mount will give us the reading in the power meter so that is the setup equipment section so we need gun oscillator power supply to just uh, generate the microwave energy and go through to the variable attenuator then that will be frequency meter to find out the frequency of that uh, section and uh, there is a setup equipment uh, as shown you can uh, you can see it now now let's apply voltage to the gun oscillator set the range switch of the power meter to uh, x1 milliwatt so there will be uh, some milliwatt we have to set on to the power meter okay adjust the variable attenuator for the maximum meter deflection that means we have to see the meter deflection in the power section uh, refer this values p naught or p zero go to the maximum part and turn the frequency meter slowly and find the power and frequency reading when the power meter reading is minimized call these values pb for power and f not for frequency slowly rotate and frequency meter and uh, find uh, the two frequencies one is to where the power reading equal is equal to del p divided by two and uh, that will be the desired curve the resonant curve of the resonant cavity okay just uh, changing the value of the frequency from f1 to if f2 we get the curve like that and uh, the power difference the halfway power the del p divided by 2 is like that that is the resonant card of the resonant cavity and uh, the resonant card of any kind of rlc circuit that is the opposite of that as you can see you know the resonance uh, curve of any kind of RLC circuit is like that but it is totally opposite to that okay so that is the difference between resonant cavity and other circuitries so uh, there are some uh, measurement of quality factor using SWR method so same uh, frequency setup sorry same experimental setup as uh, we know from the previous section on the previous experiment number three power supply square up generator pi inter modulator gun oscillator fixed attenuator variable attenuator that means there is a fixed attenuator of 10 decibel uh, yes okay that set the oscillator attenuator 10 decibel okay and there is fixed uh, available variable attenuator to find out the frequency meter to find out the frequency from that and uh, there is a uh, there is a point in the crystal detector to the SW indicator that means crystal detector is uh, the detector site or output site of the uh, microwave circuits so from there we will have to we have to get the SWR indicator. So adjust the range switch and the gain adjust to obtain zero decibel to the SWR meter. Slowly rotate to frequency meter. Find the point where the SWR meter reading is minimum. Read the decibel uh, indication on the meter P. Plug in the value obtained from four. That means the slowly rotation and the following equation to get the ratio P B. Okay. Then uh, find out the P B like that one by P B log and uh, you find out the power from that so slowly rotate the frequency meter then find out the f1 f2 and del f where the SWR meter reading indicates x decibel as calculated above so that's the end of uh, the uh, q factor measurement in the cavity resonator or 
cavities, microwave cavities. Thank you very much.